Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story. The Israel Defense Forces say that it is beginning to the release five brigades from the combat in the Gaza Strip. Now this as the military increasingly gains control on the ground. Earlier, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that the war would take many more months to end. And now the military said that it is prepared for lengthy fighting though in different phases from the high-intensity campaign that it has waged so far. The announcement came as troops continued to operate in Gaza. The IDF also released footage of troops and dogs from the Oket's K-9 unit operating in the Gaza Strip. The dogs carry out initial scans before soldiers enter an area or a building. Meanwhile, as the clock struck 12 at midnight for the new year, rockets fired from Gaza raced towards central Israel overnight. The attack triggered sirens throughout the central and southern parts of the country. Hamas armed wings said that the barrage was in response to the massacres against civilians in Gaza. This comes a day after Israeli jets intensified attacks on central Gaza. According to Hamas's health ministry, at least 48 Palestinians were killed in overnight bombing in Gaza City. Another strike killed 20 people sheltering at the Al-Aqsa University in the west of Gaza City. In another incident, Israeli police and emergency services said that a Palestinian stabbed and wounded two people near an Israeli settlement in the West Bank on Sunday before being neutralized. Now, far-right Israeli finance minister Bezalel Stomrich has called for the return of Jewish settlers to the Gaza Strip after the war and has said that its Palestinian population should be encouraged to emigrate. Hamas condemned Stomrich's comments as a vile mockery and a war crime. Meanwhile, the Israeli military said that the fighter jets struck what it said was Hezbollah infrastructure and military structures in southern Lebanon. Israeli military spokesman Daniel Hagari had said that Hezbollah does not care about the residents of southern Lebanon and had turned villages in southern Lebanon into a fighting zone. Following Israeli airstrikes, craters are dotted around the village of Kafar Kila in southern Lebanon. Now, this comes as Israeli media Haaretz quoted Deputy Hezbollah Chief Naim Qassem saying that Israel can't bring back its displaced northern residents during combat. He added that Israel can't profit from this battle or its conclusion. It must first end the war in Gaza so that the war in Lebanon can end. As 2023 drew to a close, Palestinians in Gaza prayed for a ceasefire but had little hope of the new year being better. Now, according to Hamas's health ministry, Israel's offensive has killed more than 21,800 people, with many more feared dead in the rubble, and pushed nearly all of its 2.3 million people from their homes.